Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about the Xbox 360 and its shooters. As you can see in front of me, we have the four officially released PAL shoot maps for the Xbox 360. We have Akai Katana, Under Defeat HD, Totem Patchy Resurrection and Death Smiles. All four of these games are absolute belters and they can all be had incredibly cheap. Yeah, yeah. Especially Death Smiles and Akai Katana can be had for under a fiver, Totem Patchy and Under Defeat for about £7. So all of them are fantastic. Death Smiles is probably the best of the bunch. Well, certainly my favourite. But I'm not here to talk about them today. I've recently purchased a few region free shooters for the Xbox 360. Yeah, not all of them because there are quite a few. So I'll quickly show you them. Well, here we go. Here are the four titles I've purchased. It's going to be hard for me to pronounce some of these. Uh, we have Ekatos, I think that's how you say it. Mushihima Sama Futari, Etka Luda 2 Black Label, and Bullet Soul. Uh, these are, again, all these shooters are relatively cheap. Uh, so we'll quickly cut to some gameplay footage and I'll show you the first one, which is probably going to be Bullet Soul. And Bully special prize! you want to find out what one I recommend. Well, they're all pretty good in their own right. We'll start with this one, Ekotos, if that's how you're saying it. I think that's how you're saying that. This is probably the cheapest of the bunch. This cost me £13 sealed from PlayAsia. It's all right game, as you see from the footage, it's fairly basic. The graphics aren't that great. It's certainly not as nice looking as any of the cave games. The reason I actually wanted this was because it does come with an additional game on the disc, two in fact. Uh, called Judgment Silver Sword. The Judgment Silver Sword is a Wonder Spawn game and it is incredibly rare and very expensive. Uh, many people say it is the greatest handheld shoot em up ever. I don't really think that's a big statement to give it because it's there's not that many great ones. But uh, yeah, so it's incredibly rare, incredibly expensive. I think it's valued about £150 at the moment. Uh, the only person I know that owns a copy is Soft Otaku. So yeah, so I'll quickly show you a bit of footage of that. Yeah, so I'll definitely recommend buying that game just for that. Just Mint Silver Sword, because that is an excellent game, very addictive, and it's kind of refreshing to go back to just a simple, sort of shoot everything that kind of moves type thing, uh, type shooter. So yeah, so I would recommend that, but I wouldn't even be paying any more than £20 for it. Next up, Mushishima, Mushihima Sama Futari, this is the version 1.5, I'm sure this differs from the PlayStation 2 version. This is an excellent, excellent game, it's got some fantastic bosses in it, it looks beautiful, it really does look a beautiful game. It plays very similar to the Dota Apache games, it's... Kind of refreshing for because it's got sort of oh, like a fairy type uh, sort of setting to it all. Uh, some of the graphics are nice, uh, but the colour palettes, whereas the Dota Patch games, the Dota Patch games, sorry, are all sort of spaceship 
what not this is more lush greens and what not uh, so yeah so this is a very 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 good game uh, I paid £17 for this uh, it's from a seller off eBay I will just quickly say that be careful when you're buying these games do your research because all of them not all of them are region free uh, um, for example I think Espgaluda the limited edition is not region free but the standard edition is the standard edition does have an option of coming with or without a soundtrack uh, I'm sure with this as well I wasn't 100% sure with this one that's why I went for the platinum version because I knew that was region free uh, I've since found out that the original full price version is region free but yeah just double check before you buy anything so yeah so that's that Next up at Espigaluda, again another great game, very similar to uh, Don Pachi games as well and uh, Mushisama. It's a little bit more fantasy based. Uh, I find that this, this has got sort of like a shield mechanic which isn't, I kind of feel it's unnecessarily, not complicated but I tend to never use it. Uh, it's got the same feature as don't patch you in that way, you could hold down a fire button to have a more concentrated burst. All the controls are pretty much the same, although it does add in that shield mechanic. Basically, yeah, if you activate a shield, you could absorb, absorb sort of bullets and then fire them back at the guys. Uh, but yeah, again, very, very good. This was £19, uh, again off eBay. Finally, I have... Uh, Bullet Soul, Infinite Burst. Now this game has got a lot of stick from people, mainly from the hardcore shoot 'em up sort of gang, eh, because it is very, very basic. It recently just had a sort of a, a re-release eh, called Bullet Soul, Infinite Burst. It's essentially the same game, they just added a couple modes, because this is a very bare bones release. Eh, it's basically just got the one mode, and as you saw for the game play through, it looks beautiful, it really is, I think it's a cracking looking game, there's like neon electricity, it cracks everywhere, but it's very very easy, very very easy, basically the bullets disappear, once you shoot bad down the bad guys, any bullets that they've projected that you disappear into bullet souls, hence the title, yeah, and really you should be collecting these bullet souls for points, but fortunately that's not the case with this game, They're just the bullet souls are sort of defunct, not, they just don't do any purpose. Uh, which kind of spoils it a little bit. Uh, however, saying that, after the second level, the game does get a lot harder, uh, and I think it's, it's certainly a lot challenging to me, who I would say is an average uh, shoot 'em up player. Uh, I mean, I'm by no means a great player, but I don't certainly suck. So I did find it challenging. It did take me a few credits, a few very good few credits to try and finish. Especially the last level just gets insane. So yeah. So, personally, I would have recommended this out of the bunch because it's a good entry-level shooter, it looks beautiful, and it doesn't get frustrating. However, and it's fairly basic. You don't have to learn things about, like, score multiplying and all that pish. However, this is the dearest of the bunch. This was £30, which is quite expensive. The re-release one is about £45, I think Video Game Import has got for £45, I do, it's not worth that, the game doesn't have that much features to justify that price tag, which is a shame because this version is slowly creeping up more expensive than the remake, so the re re-release, sorry, so it's a shame because I feel more people would appreciate this game if it was slightly cheaper, but I can't see that happening anytime soon, this one does come with a soundtrack, as does this, this doesn't and this doesn't. So yeah, so I'll probably say the pick of the bunch is Mushihima Sama Futari. Mainly because you can pick it up for under 20 quid. If you look for it, that is. Then you just go on eBay and look for the first seller. Pick it up for under 20 quid. If you're lucky, you don't get import charges. Great, great game. Definitely different enough from Don Pachi that uh, you'll realise you're playing a different game. But it's similar enough that you'll know how to get points, how to use the control and whatnot. So yeah. Definitely worth picking up. All these games are ideal for guys for that. There are more to pick from. There's uh, a couple that really don't interest me that much. Uh, there's a few obviously non-region free ones that I really want, but I 
I can't really justify myself buying a 360, a Japanese 364. Uh, mainly Raiden 4 and Raiden Fighters Aces. I may have to twist my arm for and buy one. But the main game I'm really I'm wanting, I'm hoping to maybe treat myself with the new year, is uh, Mushy Mushy Pork or, and Pink Sweets, the twin pack. That's a fantastic game. I've only ever seen it, I've never actually played it. But it's uh, a lot of expensive, it's about £60. So, there you go guys, that's four region free shooters that you can maybe try and pick up and play. All of them worth playing though. So, I'll leave it at that guys. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.